This is insane. This is the one that really irks me. Oh my God. He's just giving them abject nonsense, bro. I've literally healed injuries since 2008. I mean, I've been using peptides since 2004. I've used pretty much every peptide under the sun that was you know, beneficial to me in some capacity from a performance enhancement, cognitive enhancement, fat loss enhancement, uh, muscle building, you know, all the different things, healing. And I've never, ever had any kind of reaction to LPS. I'm familiar with what that is. And I'm, gl I'm, I'm glad that he actually brought that up. And he mentioned that because you're right. There are a lot of fly by night, shady peptide companies. So if there's a message or a take home to what he's saying is that is make sure you're getting your peptides from a trusted source, whether it is from a compound pharmacy and a board certified physician's prescription, or you're getting it from a research chemical company like limitless life nootropics there are others peptide sciences so just again you know make sure that you're getting your information from the right place and also you're getting your peptides from a place that obviously is again doing as you said hlpc testing um and purity uh process and sterility control of their peptides this is the one that really irks me and one of the things that bpc 157 has been shown to do in animal studies and i really want to emphasize animal studies, because that's where the vast, vast, vast majority of data on BPC-157 come from. Well, it's been shown to increase blood flow to a given area by virtue of increased angiogenesis. So basically to promote the development of new blood vessels to the entire injury site. And the way it does that is very interesting. BPC-157 somehow is able to recognize injured blood vessels and injured capillaries, and then to promote the activity of a given enzyme called ENOS, or endothelial nitric oxide synthase, which then causes more blood vasculature to form at the injury site and around the injury site. That in turn allows- I gotta give him credit. Nobody has ever used the word ENOS, which is endothelial nitric oxide <laughs> synthesis. So give him props on that. As for the delivery, not just of blood, but for the stuff that's contained within blood, including growth factors that then promote the further rejuvenation of different cell types in the given area. So the things that could potentially lead to repair of muscle, repair of ligament, repair of tendon, et cetera. And then BP. Okay. So again, he's reading this. Somebody has prepared this for him, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is not a command from a person who has used BPC 157 at any time in their life to heal themselves. In fact, I would wager my life on it that he hasn't. Now I will well, say anybody who has used BPC 157, which both you and I have many times in our lives as at former athletes, as you know, competitive uh, weightlifters, bodybuilders, strength trainers, whatever the fuck we are nowadays, we have hurt ourselves from training from, you know, just making ra random, you know, haphazard uh, movements and you tear something, sprain something, strain something, and we've used it and it is magical. So, I mean, like, I want you to comment, but evidently he goes, you know, to go deeper on BPC and we can skip ahead. He ta starts talking about how BPC is literally a placebo uh, effect. And that is literally insane. Well, yeah. So I'll just say this and we'll skip, if you want to skip to 27 minutes while I'm saying this, but he, sure. basically he's saying that all of the clinical data or most of the clinical data is all in rodent models or animal models, which is true, but we have millions, not thousands, but millions of anecdotal reports of human beings using this for extended periods of time to heal and get results beyond what they normally would have. So I want people to understand because if you worship at the altar of scientific studies, you will never be able to do anything with your life as it relates to health because you're going to be stuck in analysis paralysis of like, well, this isn't like scientifically studied or whatever. If you want to be like Huberman and say like science is my God or whatever, if you don't add to the knowledge set of science through experimentation on your own self with things that are very clearly safely studied in other humans that Jay and I have used for years that we know people have used for decades now, then there's not really any helping you. So I want to try to deprogram people, not in a mean way, but if you say, well, like there's not human clinical data on this, then, okay, we'll have fun healing, you know, it. Yeah. Well, let's just, let's just play it so we can like insert foot and mouth. But pure placebo <laughs> effect, or we're, we are dealing with real effects. And so because of the lack of the human clinical studies, we don't know whether or not we're dealing with a situation of robust placebo effects. I did an episode all about placebo effects and placebo effects are and can be oh so real. They really um, can really trick you into thinking that a given compound is doing something when in fact it's not doing anything different than would an injection of saline, of salt. Oh my God. Now, people that are watching this podcast, 
This proves that everything I've said up until this point is true, that he has no idea about peptides. He's never injected BPC-157 because any person, Hunter, who ever had used BPC-157 on an injury, injected locally at the origin of the injury, whatever it was, an ankle sprain, a tendon sprain, an elbow sprain, you know, guys, I've known guys that have torn their distal bicep in two places and injected right into the, the, the tendon, the, the bicep tendon and, and reattached the bicep tendon. I mean, again, Anyone familiar with the usage of BPC-157, and obviously you can throw in TB-500, thymus and beta-500 with it to suppress inflammation, would not be saying what he's saying. I, I mean, this is like coming from a place of, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I've never used these products. Because if you did, Hunter, you would not be complaining or, 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 or uh, saying that they were placebo. And yes, you and I know what placebo is. We understand the majority of bros out there use products their whole life, like glutamine. I mean, I could go on and on and on all these things and say that they work wonders. And it's obviously a placebo effect. They're training hard. They're eating enough protein. They're getting enough rest, blah, blah, blah. But this is BPC-157. This is like the Wolverine healing peptide compound that we all know about. I've literally healed injuries since 2008 and 2009 when people first started using BPC. So to hit for him to say this in this podcast and go out to the five point 5.27 million people that listen to him. He's just giving them abject nonsense, bro. Yeah. I mean, it'd be kind of like saying the sky is blue is placebo effect. Technically I can't disprove that that like the sky is blue is placebo effect. But at the same time, we all can agree that I've seen thousands at this point of people that I've worked with or wherever that have used BPC-157 to improve the speed at which they're healing and a lot of times stave off surgery. So again, it goes back to like overall, like most of us would agree, of course, BPC-157 isn't placebo. It, what He calls it like, you know, big placebo, like a big range placebo effect or whatever. Um, but I think it goes back to trying to obfuscate and confuse and right. uh, distort what peptides really are. All so we have is person, animal models. Yeah, so that the person is trying to, you know, discern for themselves whether peptides are right, because everyone's got to do that, you know, like Jay and I can't do that for you. You have to discern whether peptides are right for you. When you hear that, it creates like a fear, like, oh, it's just placebo right. effect. Well, they're probably not like getting that much better from it. It's just placebo effect. To which like, if I say like, you have a torn shoulder or a torn knee or something like, don't you want to heal? Don't you want to not have to potentially get surgery or have like an improved recovery time? So it's really sad because I think BPC-157 is basically like the gateway peptide to like introduce people to right. this world right. and everything because it's so safe, it's so effective and everyone gets benefit from it, you know, across so many different uh, parts of health with the body. And he's just confusing people that much more. If this information is valuable to you guys, you know, you're not a Jay Campbell or Hunter Williams fan or audience member. And somehow this video got to you and you did find a lot of value in this video, which if you're half awake, you should join us in our private membership group, fullyoptimizedhealth.com. You can see here on the, it's a link in the bottom and it'll also be linked in the description, but every single week, Hunter and I do live shows on Tuesday night, answering your questions, talking about deeper consciousness, enhancing things and spirituality and all sorts of stuff. We also do all sorts of like free, not free, but if you're a member of the group, it's free to you, uh, live webinars. And of course, everything is recorded. We've got over 400 people now. We just crossed the 400 uh, person barrier inside the group. Men and women, it's not just for guys, it's for men and women who are biohacking their best life. So again, if this is valuable to you, please join us in our group. It's $99 a month or actually only $249 a quarter. It is easily worth that money in, in cost. Yeah, man. <laughs> awesome, dude. So um, again, I'm Jay Campbell. He's Hunter Williams. We appreciate you guys watching. We will see you guys very soon.